What are the things that grab a man's attention that he finds super attractive that when he sees her, he's like, oh my gosh, I've got to get to know her. And let's just discard the elephant in the room for just a moment that for those of you who are thinking, well, it's her body and it's how sexy she is and it's her breast to hip ratio and it's all of that. Well, let me just say this. For every body type there is out there, there is a man who's digging on that body type. Let's go deeper than skin deep because I can't tell you how many men have seen a woman who by all measures of like general societal beauty, she's beautiful, but he doesn't find her attractive because she doesn't have the most important elements that we're gonna talk about right now. We're gonna talk about eight things that grab a man's attention that they notice first that they find super attractive. Now, the first one is confidence but it's probably not what you're thinking. Most people, when you say the word confident, right? They think about a New York runway model who's just like powering her way down the catwalk and she just looks like she's got resting bee face and she's just owning it and like that's confidence. That's not the confidence I'm talking about. The confidence I'm talking about is in your daily life, there's one of two states of being. Either people are in fight or flight in other words, they're super stressed out or they're scared or they're moving through life with that fight or flight energy or they're in freedom. In other words, they feel safe enough to feel free to be themselves and be authentic and that safety energy to be free and flowing and who you are, that in and of itself is super attractive because remember, your energy isn't contained and limited by your skin. Your energy is literally reaching out. You felt this when someone enters the room, you can feel the energy shift or you walk into the room where two people have been fighting, like you can feel the tension in the room. And so your own energy permeates, penetrates and reaches out and influences those around you. So if you're in a fight or flight or stressed energy, a lot, that's gonna feel constrictive, it's gonna feel heavy, it's gonna feel repelling to a guy. On the other hand, if you're in a mindset where you're giving yourself permission to feel free, permission to feel safe in life, permission to express in life, permission to be who you are, you're comfortable in your own skin, that in and of itself feels expansive. It feels lighter and it feels life-giving. And that's something that people take notice of. They'll often say, ooh, she lights up a room when she walks in. There's something intangible and attractive. And often we will term that confidence. Oh, she's confident. Well, what is she confident in? She's confident in herself. She's confident being herself, expressing herself. So that's the first one. And this actually gives rise to the second thing that men notice, which is a genuine smile and laughter. In other words, you're tapped into the joy of life. You're smiling. Smiling in and of itself helps you be more approachable. It helps you signal that you're open, that you're easy to talk to. And so when you're laughing, when you're enjoying life, when you're smiling, it shows this openness to life. It shows this open opportunity for him to approach you. And he's watching and he's saying, wow, like that's the kind of person I would love to be around. Like that's the kind of vibe and energy I want more of in my life. Number three, the other thing that catches man's eye are feminine movements. What's fascinating is in doing a bunch of research for my book, Cracking the Man Cub, one of the research that I came across was that men, even more than women, are highly attuned to catching movement. Movement catches our eye and it might be thousands of years of being programmed to be the hunters. But when a woman is moving, it catches our eye and it's specifically feminine movements. What does that mean? That means swaying your hips when you walked. Other studies showed that women who sway their hips when they walk versus just walk without the sway of the hips were perceived as more attractive. Brushing your hair back, right? Folding your legs when you sit. Those types of movements not only catch his eye, but when they're feminine movements, become attractive. The fourth thing that he notices is your presence and your kindness towards others. So let's say you're standing in line at Starbucks or a coffee shop. Are you the woman who's just on your phone the whole time and then you get up to the front, you kind of, hi, and then you go back to your phone. Hey, I'll have this venti latte, blah, 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 blah. And then you get back on your phone and thanks and boom, and you're on your way. Or are you actually present with the people around you? Are you present with that barista? Do you ask them about their day and how are you doing? Super, super important. We notice those who are in this moment. If you could imagine someone who's on their phone, it's like they're physically transparent. Their beingness 
Their body is there, but their beingness is not there, right? And so it's like there's a half person there, so to speak, in terms of your wanting to engage with them. And so bringing your full presence to the moment matters. And kindness is huge. Men notice how you treat other people. Are you the woman who's generous or kind and smiles? Do you treat everyone around you as equals? Or are they there to just serve you and your agenda? That's a huge indicator to men of the kind of person you are and the experience that it's gonna be like in a relationship with you. Number five, men notice your health, right? And there are these things called honest signals. In other words, that things that you can't fake, right? And health shows up as a healthy body. It shows up as healthy skin. It shows up as healthy hair. There's a reason why in all these scientific studies, men are more attracted to shiny hair. Why? Because it means you're getting vitamins and nutrients and you're taking care of your health when you have the shiny hair. Or good skin, it means your nutrition is good. All of those things we've been subconsciously programmed over millennia to be attracted to because it signals a healthy partner. And that's important for us in growing a family and, and journeying through life together. While on one level it might seem a little bit surface, it is something 100% that men notice is, hmm, how healthy is this person as it relates to their body or their skin or their hair? And this leads to number six, which is smell. Smell is one of the most profound ways to actually create a bond with somebody. When you go out in the house, and you are wearing your perfume or you're just fresh out of the shower and you've got your body spray on or whatever it is, essential oils, whatever it is that works for you. You gotta do something that works for you. But when you create your signature smell and your man smells and bonds to you through that scent, it is super powerful. There's a bunch of scientific studies done around smell being one of the most powerful bonding experiences that we have. Babies bond to their parents through scent and smell. They've done experiments where they have women smelling a man's shirt and the bonding that happens with men's particular scents that they're a good match for. So you can use that to your advantage. You have a signature smell that you love, wear your perfume when you're gonna go out, when you go to the gym, wear your body spray. Whatever you're doing, make sure that you invoke that signature smell because you never know when you might meet him. He might be at the bank, he might be at the grocery store. And so you can use that to your advantage. And number seven is makeup and nails. And here's what's important about this. When it comes to makeup, when it comes to nails, you've got something that really feels good to you. So wear makeup, do your nails, or don't do it in a way that you feel authentic, you feel good. In other words, that it brings forth your confidence. It brings forth your authenticity. It helps express who you are and your best self. That's the most important thing. Now let's talk about overs and unders, right? The overs are so many men are turned off by the woman who's got way too much makeup on. Like, you know what I'm talking about, the kind of makeup where you can literally see the line, like the face mask line, where you need like a, a, a putty spatula to like scrape it off at night, or too bright, too big. It's like, well, you're doing your makeup for the other women, not for the man. Like, he doesn't want that much makeup. That's the overs. Well, the unders. The unders are like no makeup at all. Well, there's a reason why the red lips and the blush and the eyeliner and all of that it appears more attractive because it brings out the colors and that grabs his attention. So again, the most important thing is do what makes you feel good. What puts you in a state of authentic joy, helps you feel great because that energy is the most important thing. So notice if you're the woman who you do like makeup, it does make you feel good. Then when you're heading out, put on that makeup because it's only gonna serve you in helping create that connection. And number eight, what men notice that we find super attractive is authenticity. It's the woman who's willing to let her guard down a little bit. She's able to talk about what's going on for her in a natural way where she's talking about the highs and the lows and the struggles and how she's overcoming those. It's the woman who is doing that that creates trust and emotional connection. There's a natural rhythm and openness that happens in that kind of beingness where you're authentically yourself, you love yourself as yourself, and in that vibration, in that emotional state, he feels like, well, if she loves herself, and she's so authentic, then maybe she can love me too. Because guys, we know that we're not perfect. We know that we've got flaws. But if she can love herself with her flaws and with everything, then we know that we could be fully accepted. That helps us open up even more. And then there's a deeper connection that's created. Those are eight things that men notice first about women that they find highly attractive. 
My question for you is, what do you notice about men? What is it that draws your eye and that you find highly attractive? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Go ahead and post those in the comment section below. I appreciate you. Here's to your amazing love life. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.